Hey guys, it's Jeremy from How To Hockey with The Hockey Movement. This is our second video in our skills progression for stick handling. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick move. This is the second move you really want to master when you're trying to improve your stick handling. Let's get right to it. In our first video, we were talking about controlling the puck. So soft touches, just having those soft, fast hands. If you want to learn more about that, you can click on the video right up there. But in this video, we're showing you the quick move. This is the first thing you want to learn because it's not too difficult and it's really effective no matter what level you play as long as you can continue to be good at it. So what we're going to do to practice this move is just stick handle the puck in front, just soft touches so you're not moving it too much. And this is keeping the defender moving. He doesn't know if you're going to go left or right. What you're going to do next, just one quick move over here. Now we can build on this after we get used to it when we're doing it stationary. So all I want you to do right now is do it stationary. Move to one side, back to center. Move to the other side, back to center. And you gotta remember when you're doing these moves to cup the puck on the back end, to so catch it on the back end, or when you're moving to the forehand, cup it on the forehand when you move to the forehand. And I don't want you to go too wide because we're gonna work on that in our next video, those really wide movements. But for this one, try to get it about to one foot. So you're stick handling in the center between your legs, you're gonna do a quick move to this one leg, or maybe a little bit outside, but not too far out, and same thing here. So stick handling in the center, quick move here, and you wanna bring it to about the leg, maybe a little bit further out. This move is really effective when you catch a guy flat-footed, and all you need is that one quick move to one side or the other to get around him. Also really effective if somebody goes to try to poke check you, and you catch him stretched out. Maybe you're going this way, he goes to poke check, and you can move it quickly this way, sidestep him, you're gone. Also a really good move to have if people come rushing at you. The odd time, uh, you know, you're getting caught one way, guys come this way, he goes to try to take that puck. One quick sidestep, you're gone. Also really good for going through traffic. The odd time, you're weaving through two or three guys, everyone's got sticks, so you need to go boom, 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 quickly moving that puck as you skate. So really good to practice move quite a bit. A good drill to practice while you're moving is to set up a line of pucks just like we did in our first video, but this time you're gonna stagger them about a foot on each side, and that gives you just enough space to do a quick move to the left side, quick move to the right side while you're going through them. Show you what it looks like. When you're practicing this move, there's three things that are really important. Number one is to have that quick move. So you can't slowly go from one side to the other or it's not as effective. So really push yourself to quickly move from center, controlling the puck, to boom, quick move to your backhand or your forehand. Number two is that you catch and cup the puck. So when you catch that puck, make sure you're cupping it on your forehand and your backhand. It's gonna help you control the puck. The third one is stick handling recovery. So after you make that initial move, it's important to get your hands moving again and control the puck, doing those soft touches that we talked about in the first video. This is gonna set you up for the next move. Sometimes this move can also be very effective as a fake. So you can't always beat somebody with that first move. Sometimes you gotta throw in that second one. So all that's gonna happen is we're gonna do the same move. We're controlling the puck in front then pull the puck to about that lag, and that's enough to fake that you're gonna go one way, and then boom, pull it really quickly to the other side, control it, and you're gone. We can also use the same setup to practice the fake move. So all we're gonna do is fake towards one puck, and then go around the other puck. Looks like this. All right, guys, that's it for the quick move skills and drills. Remember, there's a lot of different ways to practice the same skills. So get it in your garage, get it on the ice, be creative, use your imagination, and come up with your own stick handling moves. You're going to have a lot of fun doing it. And if you come up with anything really awesome, I'd love to see it. You can send it to me email. Uh, you can tag me on uh, Instagram, or you can send it on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, at How To Hockey. And don't forget, we do new videos every single week. Right now, we're doing a series on stick handling. So if you want to see more stick handling drills, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.